In today's video, we will review some of the basic tools that all water treaters should have in the field, as well as a quick walkthrough of a water treater's test kit. Let's get started on some basic tools that should be with you at all times. Keep in mind that each customer will have a different need and necessary tools will vary from each job site. Every water treater should have a knife or multi-tool, a wrench for opening jugs of product, pot feeder lids, or other items that require more torque, a screwdriver, a flashlight for dimly lit areas, a dead blow hammer for opening a pot feeder. Remember, pot feeder lids can be difficult to open at times, and you should never use a metal hammer or tool because that could crack or damage the pot feeder. And lastly, always have your proper PPE, including gloves, eyewear, and ear protection. Let's move on to the test kit. Every water treater will receive a test kit that will look similar to this one in the video. It is very important to keep a clean and organized test kit. This kit has each bottle lined up in order of specific tests to ensure quick and efficient work. For example, the first column on the left is the total alkalinity test, and as you move down the column, it correlates with the steps on the total alkalinity test. Start at the top with the drops of phenothaline, go down one row to the sulfuric acid, then down one more row to the total alkalinity indicator. Finally, back to the sulfuric acid to finish the test. A quick tip that comes in handy is to write the amount of drops needed on a specific bottle like the number three you see on the total alkalinity bottle. The foam in the test kit can be easily cut and molded with a knife to fit different pieces of equipment. Be sure to properly measure before cutting, ensure that everything fits snug. Another great tip is to always have something with you to clean and dry your test kit supplies. Always thoroughly wash and dry your test vials at the end of each visit, as some tests can leave residual that can stick and become harder to wash away. <music> Lastly, it is always a good idea to have multiple vials in case one breaks or cracks. It is also good practice to use specific vials for different tests to avoid contamination. <music> 